This program contains dramatizations and material that may be disturbing to some audience members. Viewer discretion is advised. A routine shoplifting case in California. It was petty theft, and as they always tell you in the academy, nothing's ever routine. Oh my God. Leads detectives down a rabbit hole of horrors. There was something so small that ended up being so big. Into a secret lair where depravity knows no bounds. <laughs> this is where unthinkable things happen. <laughs> An unremarkable crime exposes a twisted trail of terror and unleashes the evils of Pandora's box. It was a Sunday. It was a very nice day in South San Francisco. I was working patrol and uh, routine calls all day long. Unit 10, what's your 20? This is Unit 10. I'm on Main and Spruce. Approximately 1.30 in the afternoon, I got a call of a petty theft. Officer requested at the scene. Over. Copy. I'm on my way. Upon my arrival, I saw Reserve Officer John Callis, who was off duty, and explained to me what he had observed. I was uh, in the shop, saw an Asian man, mid-20s, wearing a heavy coat, glasses. The man picks up a vice and tries to skirt his way past the cashier undetected. I didn't ring him up for anything. Walked out of here. Come back here. That's when the reserve officer calls it in. After I had gotten the story from him, I went over to the vehicle to investigate. Inside the trunk, Detective Wright finds something far more troubling than the stolen vice. I saw a couple tote bags. I opened them up. As I was looking in the bag, I saw a uh, weapon in there with a uh, silencer. 